Hello everyone, it is Darian64, welcoming you back to a rather special video today. So in the past week, I've been doing a bunch of Castlevania drawings, more specifically, color. Now in the past, I've done plenty of Castlevania drawings before, but they were all sketched with pencil. I rarely ever do things colored, because they, they're, they're taxing on your fingers, they, they really make your hands sore. But I still did it nonetheless. So, today, I'm going to show you these drawings, and I'm probably going to go ahead and show you guys a few posters around my room that I have of Castlevania. So, let's get this started with our first runner-up, Leon Belmont from Lament of Innocence. This is the first Belmont in the clan, and he's also the first Belmont to create the Vampire Killer Whip that we are all familiar with. Moving over, we have Trevor Belmont. This version is specifically from Curse of Darkness, where he gets the scar. This is the first Belmont to slay Count Dracula. Moving over, we have the more popular, more recognizable Belmont being Simon Belmont. He has at least four games, only two of which really matter. The first is Castlevania, and then you have Simon's Quest. But the four games he's in, he's in Castlevania 1, 2, Super Castlevania 4, and Chronicles. So moving over, we've got the most underrated Belmont, in my opinion, Juiced Belmont from Harmony of Dissonance on the Game Boy Advance. So, I mean, he's kind of like in the middle of the bloodline. There's nothing really too special about him, except that he has a little bit of a bit of the Bell Nades genetics in him, which allows him to use magic really well. So that's interesting. So moving down here, we've got Richter Belmont, specifically from Dracula X Chronicles the uh, PSP remake of Rondo of Blood. So Richter was the last Belmont to wield the Vampire Killer Whip before the Era of No Belmonts. The Era of No Belmonts basically happened because during the events of Symphony of the Night, he got possessed by the Dark Priest Shaft, and because he got possessed, he felt as though he should no longer carry the whip, and he pretty much abandoned it and ended the bloodline right there thus leading to the era of no Belmonts, in which we would have characters like Nathan Graves, uh, Shanoa, Reinhard Schneider, and a few others. And last but not least, we have Julius Belmont, the last Belmont in the bloodline. So this guy has only been appeared in two games, and that's Araya of Sorrow and Dawn of Sorrow, and he only serves as a side character, unfortunately. There still has yet to be a game made about him, and his chapter in 1999 with the Demon Castle War. He was the Belmont that somehow destroyed Dracula for good, and we still don't know how he did it. So moving over, we have Matthias Kronkvist from Lament of Innocence. This is essentially Dracula before he became Dracula. He used to be a knight in the Crusades, and he used to be an alchemist. And here we have good old Dracula, from Dracula X Chronicles. So there's nothing really too much to explain. He's just Dracula. So backing up here, we're going to stand up. And uh, right above this is a poster. Two posters, actually. So these are Naruto posters I got a while ago, but soon these posters are going to be replaced. This poster right here is going to be replaced with Harmony of Dissonance. And this one right here is going to get replaced with Arai of Sorrow when I get them. I think I'll do an unboxing video of those posters when I get them. But moving over to the left side of the room, I have a poster of Leon Belmont. I've had it for a while now. And I have a poster of Iron Maiden, the Killers album. This poster is going to get replaced with Chronicles. Now moving over to the back side of the room, I have a Symphony of the Night fabric poster that I've had for about three years now. And over here, I have a Lament of Innocence poster, which is actually a two-sided poster that I got from a new copy of the Castlevania Lament of Innocence Brady Games strategy guide. Yeah, as you can see on the back here, it says exclusive two-sided poster. So that's pretty neat. But yeah, um, when I get those new posters, I plan on getting a, uh, like I said, I plan on getting a Harmony of Dissonance poster for that. A Rai of Sorrow poster for that, a Castlevania Chronicles poster to replace that, and I'm going to put Curse of Darkness poster 
right where Princess Leia is. Okay, that's I had to remember where I was putting it. But yeah, um, that's about it when it comes to the posters and the, uh, the drawings that I've got. So yeah, I will see you guys in the next Let's Play video that I do. So see you guys later.